This morning, a new coronavirus study released overnight finds some asymptomatic children can carry a viral load higher than hospitalized adults. Troubling news as schools and colleges across the country struggle with reopening. There have been some studies to show that children from 10 to 19 can transmit to adults as easily as adults transmit to adults. With many New York schools set to start in weeks, some offering in-person instruction, Governor Andrew Cuomo called reopening risky and problematic. Go look at Manhattan on a Thursday night and Friday night and Saturday night and tell me how well they've been listening. You think they, their behavior is going to change when they go back to school? And now the New York City Teachers Union threatening legal action unless their school's safety plan is met. This city went through hell and came back, and we are not going back to hell because of short-sighted political agendas. In Detroit, though it's illegal in Michigan for teachers to strike, teachers threatening to walk out, concerned about safety. We will uh, do whatever we need to do uh, to ensure the health and safety uh, of our members and of our students. Nearly 80 teachers in Utah quit over COVID concerns and an emotional hearing in the ongoing case brought by Florida teachers to stop in-person learning. I've chosen my kids, my, my students, over so many difficult things, um, but I, I can't put my family at risk. Leaders around the country enforcing measures to curb the virus. In Los Angeles, the mayor shutting off utilities at this mansion reportedly owned by TikTok star Bryce Hall, where several big events violated health orders. The move coming a week after the mayor announced a crackdown on party houses. And as cases spike in Puerto Rico, the governor announcing the territory will now be on lockdown every Sunday. Residents only allowed to leave home for essentials. In the U.S. Virgin Islands, cases nearly doubled in the past week with more than 200 new cases. Tourists now banned for a month. Mona, Will. Andrea, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.